Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I'm sorry it's took me so long to get a public out to you. Um, I was away this weekend, I went to London uh, with my dad, went and saw Wicked the musical, which was dead good, I loved it. Um, so I went and did that this weekend. Uh, so I've actually, for the first time in nearly a year, and I think in the next week we've been here a year, um, I turned me out of office on so I could go and spend some time with my dad. I needed some downtime. Uh, so what we're going to do today is where do we go from here? Now, as you know, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of circumstances. Um, so we're going to go with deck number... Ooh, I'm gonna nearly did a firing shot then. Deck number one and deck number two. Pick a deck. Uh, my guide is saying, can you go from where your heart energy is pulling you? I've got a really bad echo in this ear. The spirit is like the... Um, you ever have like you know like reverb on a microphone it's like that in my left ear number one number two it's just me clear audience okay paul go where your heart energy is pulling you if you can't pick between the two that's cool uh probably bits of both will re uh, resonate maybe one for you one for your person we'll see what happens okay let's go can you get me into my collective's energy of deck number one please so those that pick deck number one yeah, the reason why we picked Where Do We Go From Here was this morning I woke up and it was a song uh, from Evita. I had to Google it. A song from Evita, the musical called You Must Love Me. So uh, the first line of that was Where Do We Go From Here? And oh my God was like, yes, this one, this is what we're doing. So who am I to argue with the, the high and mighty? Okay. Think about your person. Can we get into their person's collective energy for that number one? Neutral energy of it all. My hay fever is really bad today as well. It's quite muggy in England. It's not, it's not particularly cold, but it's not particularly hot either. It's just really overcast. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Yeah, okay. Can we do possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of them as well? One. We're going in a sack. I know watching the shuffling is a bit of a pain, but um, kind of need to do it to get the, the right energy on the, on the decks. Okay, we're good. So the first thing that I'm hearing is, um, I know you, you all think I'm a massive crazy Taylor Swift fan, but I am this massive crazy Taylor Swift fan. But what they're giving me uh, to begin with is ready for it, but not actually the song. They're talking about uh, the main lyrics from that when they're saying in the middle of the night, um, in my dreams, I know I want to be with you, so I'll take my time. So it might be more of this prolonged um, energy coming through in this deck. It might take a little bit of time for things to move forward uh, for the two of you, but it will come when the time is right. It's kind of a case of divine timing. Can you tell me what is going, what do they go from here? Where does deck number one, collective energy, go from here? Okay, two, three, four, five, six, not bad, not a bad bunch, seven, Eight, nine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this is largely coming out, uh, well, not largely coming out, but some of you watching this, obviously you are third parties. Um, if you aren't a third party and you're like, who is this other person involved in our relationship? If you don't know about it, don't overly worry about it, okay? Because it, it's just going to be that a lot of people in this uh, in this deck number one, I've got someone else, you are either with someone else or they are with someone else um, or they are seeing someone else and you're all a bit like, oh my god, what's actually happening? Now if that doesn't resonate with you, don't panic about it, but it's just because it's the strongest mutual energy, okay? So just throwing that out there. So what's currently happening with you and your person, you are at this kind of standstill at the moment. You're not sure what direction you're meant to be going in. There's this bit of a block which is stopping the two of you moving together. So say this is... Uh, the right is always feminine, left is always masculine in my ears. So this will be the feminine energy, this will be the masculine energy, and right between the two of you is this block. Okay, so you're wanting to move the situation forward, but you're feeling like you're kind of flying in this bit of a grey area at the moment, unsure of what is going to happen. There is a really great love between the two of you, very, very strong love between the two of you, but it just feels like it's come to this bit of a standstill. Now, a lot of the reason for this is more, I mean, I know it takes two hands to clap, but it's more being focused on the masculine energy within deck number one. So your male person will either be, if they're third party, unsure what to do. If um, you're not third party, it'll be fear, it'll be panic, it'll be worry, it'll be all these kind of aggravated energy 
energy rising up to the surface and you've got into this bit of a block, into this bit of a standstill with you and your person. Kind of like, um, I just heard a face off, I'm not quite sure what a face off is, is that when you're like fa facing each other and you're not sure what to do? But you are linked, your energy is linking, your emotions for each other are quite stable, you know how each other feels about you and if you don't, if you're panicking thinking, I don't know how they feel about me Ali, don't, okay, because there is a, such a strong love in this deck, it's circumstantial why you are where you are, a lot of this uh, number one is mainly to do with circumstances there's also issues coming back from childhood i'm hearing so if there's issues with abandonment issues with uh leaving families behind all that kind of energy again is amalgamated into this deck now it's not just them it's you as, as well you guys are kind of mirroring each other's energy um so whereas they're thinking oh i can't do anything about this situation you're thinking well you need to hurry up and do something about the situation uh before you lose me they'll be thinking um what if i'm not good enough what if it all goes wrong and you'll be thinking um i deserve better and why are they why are they acting like this when they know that they love me can't they just do something about it and there is that echoing mirroring energy between the two of you running concurrent in this deck i'm hearing um however you're standing in your power, you're actually feeling quite strong with the situation, feeling that you are straightening your crown, feeling like you're in your, in your power, um, and no matter what blocks are stopping you guys being together, you've got a bit of faith and hope that this will turn around. In your lowest moments, and you're having a few dark nights of the soul, you do have that panic, you do have that worry, uh, you do have that concern, but for you standing in your power, you're manifesting the outcome that you want, releasing it, giving it to the universe, and through that, that means this situation can then turn around and be in your favour, okay? Um, so kind of straighten your crown, it's all going to be all right. So at the moment, it's like there's not this non-committal kind of energy coming forward. Some of it is third party, some of it is because there's family involved in the situation. Um, and you kind of, you want the same things, you and your person want the same things, but there's just a circumstantial block that is stopping it moving forward. However, as time progresses, if you're not in contact, if you're in little contact or whatever's going on, you need to give them a bit of space and a bit of time to work out what it's like with a life without you, okay? And once they have that time of realising what it's like without you, they'll make these moves back towards you. We suddenly have this kind of wake-up call about what direction their life should be going in. Now, it might take some of them a bit longer than others, which is why it's a case of divine timing. And it's important that you carry on moving yourself forward. Uh, I've just seen trainers being tied up to kind of leave the house. Keep putting one foot in front of the other even if it's hurting you even if you're feeling really low the overall outcome is that this situation will move into your favor and you're going to be standing um, in a new beginning together much more stable much more secure much more uh, romantic able being able to love each other in the way that you guys need to be loved being able to move the situation forward together rather than separately it's almost like at the moment you're kind of going down your you could come to this crossroad and you're kind of going down your separate paths at the moment but you're you're here Helix, your energy is going to turn around and it's going to come back through and then you'll be waving in and out a little bit and then it'll push into some kind of union or coming together. Um, reason for that, you've got Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups and the Sun. So it's like, try to see the light in the dark at the moment. I know it's hard for a lot of you. I know a lot of you are feeling quite low, but you're also feeling quite powerful at the same time. Remember what you're thinking about. Try to hold the thought for less than 17 seconds so you don't manifest it. Um, there is a really good chance that this relationship is going to turn around in your favour, but it needs this kind of divine timing for both of you to realise, well, more so your, your masculine, because it's more the masculine energy. Even if you're a masculine watching is more on you. Um, it's their kind of energy that they need to sort out, they need to work it out in the head. You're a lot more spiritually advanced, most of you watching are a lot more spiritually advanced than your person and you already know this, but your person has got to have time to catch up with you and realise what's actually going on and what's going to happen. Um, so it's really important that you're given this space and you're given this time no matter how much it hurts you the longer the, the more time you give it the more it's going to turn in your favor the quicker it will turn in your favor um so yeah it looks really positive it looks really promising it looks really good it's a case of time it's a case of timing there isn't a mutual timing on this deck um if you're not in contact some of you that's within a couple of weeks some of you that's within four or five months that contact coming through um if you're talking about you and your person being in a relationship you're looking further ahead but 
that's because of circumstances. Circumstances need to be resolved so that you and your person can align together and move forward to manifest it, get the outcome going that you want. Um, if you want a manifesting plan doing, just give me a shout, I can get them back to you. Um, but yeah, just a block, circumstantial block that's stopping you. It's not about the love between the two of you because the love between the two of you is very, very strong, you know? So keep keep forward focused, my guy just said. Keep for, forward focused. Um, I just got I got a couple of songs then. They they went. It's frustrating sometimes as Claire audience when when because it's like a radio dial and sometimes it flicks through the channels really quickly and three songs get pushed into one. So we had. Um, we have The King and I Shall We Dance. I'm not quite sure why we had that because I don't know the lyrics to that. That's from the musical. We had um, If You Fall I Will Catch You I'll Be Waiting Time After Time. That one as well. And there was another one. What's the last one? Um, Ego by The Saturdays. And it's saying, that, that song says, you know, by, when you're by yourself, you're going to come to me for help. That's the song. They're all living in this ego at the moment. Your people are living in this ego. And they've got to work their way through this ego energy. Listen to their soul purpose and to their calling. And once they've got that, click, it'll click. Wake up, smell the coffee. Poof, let's give it a go. So it's a timing thing. But it's, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Just keep it focusing on you and it'll shift. Okay. Now it's deck number one, 11.30. Let's do deck number two. Okay, can you get me into my collective energy of deck number two? So as always, as you know, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Deck number two's collective energy. So where do we go from here? Think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Debt number one, uh, time after time, and it's going through me, it's, I can't shut it up now. So I'm going to give it to you guys as a message as well. If um, what happens is if I don't place a message, well, if I place a message and it keeps on going, it's because it's for someone else as well. So time after time, uh, I, don't, I don't even know who sings that. If you fall, I will catch you. Time after time. Okay. Can we get into all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two? Have a big breather, breathe in, and breathe out. Strong energy in this deck. We're a bit muddled up, aren't we, deck number two? A little bit confused. Okay, can you tell me where does deck two go from here? Where do them and their people go from here? One, two... They fly across my room. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, I've got. Oh God! It's Avril Lavigne. Keep, keep holding on. Is it called? I don't know if that's actually what the song's called. I just need to say the keep. Oh God. Why does spirit give Claire audience to a girl that cannot sing? I tell you, um, when she goes, keep holding on. You'll have to, um, we'll make it, oh, I can't, you can just hear that. Keep holding on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep holding on, Avril Lavigne, go and have a look at it. Please don't make me sing it. Okay, so what's currently happening with you and your person? Uh, you are in this, you're in this bit of a slum, you're in a bit of no contact, there's a little bit of not really much anything happening, a little bit of, oh I'm Ali, I'm moving three steps forward and they're pulling me back and I can't work out what I'm doing. Some of you have had massive arguments, some of you have had situations that have caused a bit of aggravation and it's this whole kind of confused energy stepping forward for deck number two. Now you guys need a bit of time to process everything that has been happening. Um, I'm being told to tell you, can you try and see it from someone else's perspective other than your own? Please don't shoot the messenger, but that's what they're saying. A lot of the time with our, with our divine couples, we tend to see it just from our perspective and we can get a little bit self-centered and how we're feeling and how things are going on in our life and their behavior. We think, well, you know what, F you and 
their behaviour and things like that makes us feel a little bit self-centred. But Spirit's saying, can you just try and see things a little bit from their perspective? Um, they've been feeling a little bit over-pressured, a little bit burdened by everything, unsure on what they're meant to be doing. So some of them are cut contact, some of them are just being idiots, some of them are giving you a bit, taking it away. A very mixed up energy and a lot of confusion coming from this. Now what I am being told to tell you is that your person has got a lot of feelings for you, they just don't know how to talk about it. So pay attention to their actions, not their words. Um, even if you are in eye contact or whatever specifically going on in your situation, you are both still holding on to your love for one another. They just don't know what to actually do about it at this moment in time. So you're feeling a bit isolated, you're feeling a little bit alone, you're feeling a little bit confused, a little bit like what's actually happening, what are we meant to be doing, and so it's time to go into this kind of processing mode. You and your person are uh, switching between the yin and the yang energies, your masculine and feminine feminine energies are kind of going full circle so one moment you'll be feeling kind of more emotional more nurturing more understanding and the next minute it will go from the pro to, to processing to understanding to thinking about solutions and then it goes back round. and you and your person are doing the exact same link on that um, but what you do not need to doubt is how your person feels about you they are watching you on social media okay so if you're thinking oh well they've blocked me or they haven't got it there is a way to find out find you if they need to there is definite clear watching on social media going on here and um, so if you wanted to put some subliminal messages up for them now is a good time so time to process it all and it's time to work it all through work out what you want work out what they want there's definitely a need for more balance in this deck um the logic and emotions are definitely spinning around on a, on this circle this tick 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 and a definite overthinking going on here however it's also needed to work out what's going to happen, what you want. Okay, so again, make sure that you're telling the universe what you want, not what you don't want. You are feeling isolated, they are feeling isolated, you are feeling alone, they are feeling alone, you are feeling sad, they are feeling sad. When they feel better, you start to feel better. Um, when they feel that they're going to contact you, you start to think they're not going to contact me. When, they're think when you're thinking they are going to contact me, they're thinking, oh, I'm not sure now is the right time. Very mixed up, confused, mirroring energy going on. Be really worth giving some energy clearing going on uh, energy clearing meditations the other thing spirit are saying is there's a lot of blocks in this deck in the sacral chakra so can you guys get some carnelian it's coming up quite a bit recently it came up in this lady's reading i did the other day um a block in the sacral chakra could be a sexual energy block if there's fear around sex fear around are they with anyone else all that kind of energy is coming forward as this block um, also you guys need to be drinking more liquid because some of you are getting quite bad headaches and if you haven't yet I do apologize also someone's got a dodgy left leg you need to have a tiny bit more salt uh, I was what well, I know that's a bit of a random message to the thousands of people watching but left leg if your legs feeling a little bit numb you will know who you are uh, it's a male have some salt okay so isolated alone a bit confused unsure what's going to go on unsure what's going to happen now this time that you guys are going to have this this downtime um is the timing when this processing needs to happen and through this processing is what is going to bring results they're going to work out how they feel about you they're going to work out that they actually need to communicate their emotions to you they're going to work out that things have got to move forward uh with the two of you because the love between the two of you is so strong that it's just a kind of a this is a uh it's moving in the right direction okay and through that moving in the right direction you've got reconciliation you need to be standing in your power you need to be standing strong you need to be standing in your queen of swords energy you know get into your bitch power get into your uh, this is on my terms my conditions you match up with me or on your bike you need to get into that kind of powerful energy because if you don't this could carry on going and going and going and you, it's really time you, that you guys break this loop break this cycle break this cyclical energy so for now reflect on it all take a step back clear up your energies uh, orange sacral carnelian put it in your bra and your trousers remember everything is actions and reactions as well as spirit has said so if you've had a big fallout it'll be action reaction action reaction and you're in this cycle with that as well it's a very cyclical energy there is watching going on you are being looked at um so just be aware of that give it time and this is going to come back round. Uh, rough timing of it all for you guys is probably your mutual energy is about three, four months. 
for this to move forward um, in the right direction, not in the wrong direction, in the right direction. Your time is about three or four months. Uh, there, regardless of if you're watching this in a year's time, don't matter because psychics work on, I work on the strongest mutual energy, no such thing as time with the energy that we work with, which is why we can do the past, present and future, okay? So it's that mutual energy, don't matter when you're watching it, just so you know. But yeah, stepping into your power, focus it, focus the energy back towards you, that focus back towards you will see, they will see you standing in your strength and they will remember why they fell in love with you in the first place and they'll be able to communicate their feelings towards you better than what they have done before because this fear's just kind of got on top of them and built on top of them. But it's moving in the right, it will move in the right direction. It's really, really good. You're both holding on to the love that you two have. They've just been a bit rubbish at communicating about it because there's a lot of fears and aggravation kind of going through it. Uh, you're both feeling sad. You're both feeling a little bit isolated, but through it all, there is reconciliation through your heart-centered energy. So it's going to move in the right direction. You've just got to kind of be a bit patient. Okay, so that's it that's step number two if you remember this works on the strongest mutual energy between you also if you want to book a private reading email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com i'm getting back on my emails today i'll be back on top of everything by tomorrow uh if you want to find me on instagram that's just mysticlovetarot and i think that's it all right guys love you lots take care god bless bye